Hey everyone, it's Miranda. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey, for the first time, subscribe, become the newest member of the Slash Squad. Today I'm jumping on that trend train with a I followed a makeup tutorial video. I love watching these. I like the ones that end up funny and kind of like a fail video, but I also like the ones that turn out well because it kind of just goes to show like how attainable some beauty tutorials are. So today I am going to be doing a tutorial from my girl, Nikki Tutorials. One of the reasons why I chose Nikki is that we have very similar um, routines in terms of like the steps we do in our makeup routine. So she usually starts with the face in terms of primer, foundation, concealer, then moves on to her brows and eyes, and then she comes back to the face and then ends with lips. And that's exactly how I do my makeup. And of course, I did have the chance to collab with Nikki on the Maybelline YouTube channel. So definitely check out the link below if you want to watch that. I had a blast. So the look we're doing today is from a video called Ending Makeup Shaming Go To Ultra Glam Makeup Look. So I'm very excited to see how well we can pull this off. Nikki uses a lot more products than I normally do in my makeup routine and I wanted to put a spin on this. So I'm going to be replacing all the products that she uses with drugstore products. So not only are we going to test the attainability of this tutorial, but also see if we can match it with some affordable products. So let's see if we can get this ultra glam makeup look with drugstore products that I already owned. Let's go for it, girl. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna go in with is by Becca. This is the First Light Priming Filter. Okay, so she's using an illuminating primer, so I'm gonna be using the Spotlight Illuminating Primer from Physician's Formula. So that's gonna add just a really nice radiance. I also got a chemical peel yesterday, so I am just glowing. Now one of my problem areas is my nose, my chin, and between my brows. Same I girl. Get super oily there throughout the day. So to make sure that this amazing layer of pancake doesn't go anywhere, I'm gonna go in with this, also by Becca. It is called the Ever Met Poreless Priming Perfector, and this has really helped me keeping my foundation on flawlessly. Okay, so I think this is actually kind of smart, and I had really never thought about this before, but layering primers, or just using two different primers for the different areas of your face, especially if you're combo skin like I am. So she's using a mattifying pore filling uh, primer for her T-zone, so I'm gonna be using the Catrice Prime and Fine Primer, and this is very affordable. This is is, uh, pore refining and anti shine. So the key is to take just a tiny bit on your fingers, tiny then bit. rub it in, and then press onto the problem areas. All and right. just make sure that you press that in. Don't blend. Don't blend. Don't swipe. No don't swiping. Massage. <laughs> Press. Tap, tap, tap. One of tap, my tap, favorite tap. foundation combinations wait, wait. as of lately has been the MAC Pro Longwear Nourishing I'm still tapping. Okay. Mixed in with the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Full Coverage Foundation. These together make for such a long lasting, flawless pancake. Not so Okay, okay, wait, stop. <laughs> okay, so she's using a combination of a couple different foundations to get like um, a very full coverage effect. I'm just gonna be using the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundation. This is in the shade 220 Natural Beige. And this definitely gives me full coverage. And I feel like it's gonna go well with that illuminating primer. She goes fast, dude. Okay, so now we're moving on to concealer. She's using Tarte Shape Tape. I'm gonna be using the Milani Retouch and Erase Light Lifting Concealer. For concealer, I'm gonna use this to light up my under eyes. And now you can use ah. as much as you would like. Now I know that it's like true Nikki fashion to kind of go a little heavy with the concealer under the eye to really get that like lightening effect. So I put on a little bit more than I would normally. I usually don't even really do this step, but we're going in. The thing is, is like, I never really do this stuff in my actual makeup routine, but when I do make the effort to do it, I get it. <laughs> it does make a big difference. To make sure this look lasts all day long. I'm um, wait, wait, wait. Priming my okay, so head. did we not powder? Her brows are done. What are we doing here? Okay, so I looked at the description. She does actually list the powder that she used in the brow that she used. She just did it off camera, but I feel like I should powder this, like that's part of the 
situation. So I guess I'm just gonna do that really quickly before moving on to the eyes. So I'm gonna use the AOA Studio Perfect Setting Powder. Um, I got this from shopmissa.com and you can see my full face of shopmissa.com makeup in the video I will link in a card, card down below, etc. So I'm just gonna go ahead and set the under eyes with this. All right, that looks good. Okay, now let's do the brows really quickly. And I'm also gonna be using an AOA um, sculpting brow pencil. I used this in the oh, video that I just filmed. So I'm gonna do that really quickly too. I don't know why Nikki's got me so like anxious because she's moving so fast. Okay, so I did the brows, powdered. We are now caught up with Nikki, so let's go ahead and see what's next. Priming my eyelids. The first ah. primer. In okay, so she didn't even tell us what primer she was using. I'm gonna be using the e.l.f. eyelid primer. It's a dollar. I'm just gonna go ahead and swipe that on right quick. I'm really curious, like, how long her routine takes IRL because she seriously speeds through this. The first color I'm gonna go in with is by the Morphe 25B palette and it's this color right here. Okay, so she's using Morphe palette. Morphe palettes aren't actually all that expensive, but I am trying to use like all drugstore products for this look. So I'm gonna actually be using two different drugstore palettes. They are the new Milani palettes. Okay, so I'm gonna be using the Most Loved Mattes and the Bold Obsessions palette. Um, for her first color, she's going into something that looks like one in Most Love Matte, and that is this shade here called Hiking in Sedona. So that's gonna be the transition shade that we use, That what she's doing now. Soft circular motions. I start applying this color to the outer portion of my crease and wiggle it out. From there, start blending it softly towards the crease. Now with this shade right Wait. here, start blending the edges of what we just applied even nicer. So just right above where we just applied that. First okay, color. so for my blending color, I'm gonna use this shade here, which is kind of an off-white. Looks maybe a little bit more of a cream than what she used, but she's just putting it on the edges to blend. Now mixing these two beautiful colors together and this is going on the outer V. And these two colors will enhance the rose gold tones beautifully. Okay, so she's mixing two colors for her outer V color and that is what I'm gonna be doing too. I'm actually going to be crossing palettes. So I'm taking the bottom middle shade in both palettes. This one has more of a rosy like reddish tint. This one is more brown. So I'm hoping we can get the same concoction that she does here. All right, hers is a little more orange, but I think we can get the same vibe. Has a beautiful right. <laughs> okay, so I'm just kind of working that up and out into my transition shade. Mine looks a little darker than hers. I'm just taking a little extra time to blend everything out because Nikki is just so freaking good at blending that I don't want mine to look choppy. As a beautiful rose gold base for the lid, I'm going in with this Pure Cosmetics Cream Shadow in Silk. Okay, so she's basically like cutting her crease with cream shadow. I do not have any cream shadow on me right now. I actually had one that would have been perfect for this, but I threw it away because it was old. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm gonna be using a liquid highlighter as like my cream shadow replacement. This is the Gigi Hadid and Maybelline um, Illuminating Liquid Strobe in gold. And I'm hoping that this will give us a little bit of the same effect. So I'm basically cutting my crease with this. Okay. 
And over top, I'm applying this Starlit Powder by Makeup Forever in the color Iridescent Pearl. Okay, so she's using like a loose shadow for this look, but I'm actually gonna be using a pressed one. This is High Strung from ColourPop. I think it's gonna match the color pretty well to what she's got on. I feel like this is a true rose gold eyeshadow. Like this is the most rose goldy shadow I've ever had. And I'm just gonna go ahead and start like blending that into the rest of the lid. Okay, are we like at the same level as Nikki yet? For a blinding inner corner, I'm going Ooh. in with this Catrice highlighting eyeshadow and turn the highlights on, and I'm applying this using a damp brush. Okay, so it's basically a white highlighter. Funny enough, she's using a drugstore product. I don't have that particular one, so I'm gonna use the Physician's Formula Bronze Booster, and I'm using the white highlight here. For the outer corner of the lower lash line, I'm going back into with the two darkest color from our outer corner. Oh, okay, back to that. A lot of product juggling here. And continuing that using our transition color from the crease. Ah, uh, okay. And finishing this look off with a wing to cut all makeup shamers in half. Yes, okay, so I'm using the Jessie's Girl Liquid Liner. It looks very similar to the one she's using in the video. It has like a brush tip here. Is she doing like a super dramatic wing? Yes, yeah, she is, okay. Interesting, she does her wing first and then the rest of her lid. Is that what you do? Let me know, okay. To seal the deal, I'll be going in with Lily Lashes, Mika Nose Lashes. Okay, have we put on mascara? Have we curled our lashes? What is going on? Okay, I'm gonna go in with AOA Lashes again from shopmissa.com. I'll leave the link below. They're a dollar. They look really pretty. Haven't used them yet, but we'll see how it works. But first, as per usual, I gotta prep my lashes for the actual lashes. I also noticed that she didn't tight line and we didn't put a highlight on the brow bone. Is that something that we're not doing today? Okay. Okay, just putting on some Lash Blast Volume from CoverGirl. I guess I'm not like following this tutorial if I'm adding my own steps. Am I cheating? But like I actually want to wear this and I know that she's doing this just off camera because she's putting it in her description. So, so yeah, if you're like actually trying to follow a Nikki Tutorials video and you're like, this seems like there are steps missing because my whole face isn't done, check her description because She'll put in the products that she used in between the steps, which I never knew before. But I didn't check ahead to see if we did a brow bone highlight or tight lighting, so I guess we're just gonna go without that and see how it works. So I'm just gonna put these on really quickly and I'll come right back. You guys have to go check out these lashes. They were a dollar. They're so like fluttery and long and luscious. I'm going to go buy 40 more pairs. <laughs> Okay, we're back, let's see what we're doing. I'm gonna grab my Verdial Insta Glam Contouring Powder, my Morphe Big Fan Brush, which is the M143. La 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 Okay, so I'm gonna be using the NYX Pro Highlight and Contour Palette, and I'm gonna go ahead and use a fan brush too. Now this is actually interesting because normally use fan brushes to highlight, not contour, but we're gonna go for it. So I'm gonna go into these two colors here. La 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 la. I feel like the sound effect is very important. All right, and then she's just like putting it in their socket. Hmm, oh. Why did I never think to do this with a fan brush? Girl, you are teaching me new things. This is so smart, Nikki. Mm, which kind of like t brings it up here a little bit to blend. Yes. I am so shook. Okay, let's move on. Ugh. 
to warm up my complexion, of course, some bronzer. Bronzer, I don't normally warm up my complexion, but we're gonna do it. This is the Butter Bronzer in Sunkissed from Physicians Formula. And it looks like she's putting it like over here, a little bit right here, on her cheeks too. Ooh. Okay, we warmed up our complexion. I'm not really sure that that did anything. For blush, I've been obsessing over this pink tea blush by MAC. It looks very natural and like it won't show up on the skin in the pan, but something happens when you pick it up with that brush and apply it to the skin. It just transforms into this beautiful, soft flush of color. Okay, so her blush had tea in the name, so I'm using the Tea Rose blush from Milani. I feel like this has the opposite effect as hers, where it like looks bright in the pan and you're like, oh, but then it goes on and you have like this really natural flush of color. Now some unreal out of this world glow. So for my Unreal Out of This World Glow, I'm still gonna go back into that Physicians Formula Bronze Booster White Highlight there, because it looks like she's using kind of a whitish highlight. That gives me some Unreal Glow, right? Oh shit, she did and her And for lips, I'm gonna go for a too. color that always inspires me. I'm going to apply a beautiful red all right, so now she's putting red on her lips. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same, and this is the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in um, Pioneer. I'm gonna put that all over the lips. And giving it a cool metallic effect using a red shining eyeshadow. Okay, so she's going in with a red eyeshadow to give it a metallic effect. I don't have any red shining eyeshadow, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a pink highlighter and just put it like on the high points of the lips. So this is the Butter Highlighter from Physicians Formula in Rose Gold. Kind of fits the theme of the look. And I'm just gonna pat it like in the middle of my top and bottom lip. Yes, mm-hmm, there we go. That gave us a little bit more pout as well. And of course, some setting spray. Setting spray, I forgot the setting spray. One moment. Okay, going in with some Physicians Formula setting spray. Okay, so we are done. What do you all think? How did I do? Please let me know in the comments below. I actually really like how this look turned out, even if it's not quite exactly like Nikki's look. We definitely did a little bit of improv with some product swaps, and of course, we used all drugstore products versus most of her IN stuff. Probably like the one thing that I'm not um, super confident about is using that highlighter as an eye base for our rose gold shadow because it definitely had like more of a powdery finish. So by the time I stuck the shadow over it, it was like a little bit dry for what it was supposed to be doing. But I mean, I actually learned a lot today from Nikki, thanks girl, because that fan brush contour, I am feeling myself. Like, why did I even ever do it a different way? And it just goes to show that you can do these looks with drugstore budget-friendly products, get very similar results, and you don't have to break the bank. Now, of course, I actually did use like more products trying to follow Nikki than I normally would in my routine. Normally, I would stick to one palette, and I wouldn't be like dipping into eyeshadows from a bunch of different places. But if you got it, use it. All right, everyone, if you liked that video, hit the thumbs up. I loved watching these, so I just had to make one myself. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, become a member of the Slashed Squad. I make new videos every Saturday, and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye. Mwah.